next theory is cognitive learning theory by Jean Piaget. Now we have already done classical conditioning where involuntary responses were altered. Now Jean Piaget counters the theory of classical conditioning. Why? He says that people do not learn like that. L actual learning happens through mental processes. What uh, Jean Piaget is trying to say here is that all of the living beings have a brain, cognition, the, the ability to understand and that is how learning happens through our brain. Okay, so um, there was an experiment, a very interesting experiment. What happened uh, in that experiment was that a rat was put in a maze. And every day the cheese was kept in a particular place. So there the cheese was kept at the right side always at the end of the maze. So first few days the rat struggled to get the cheese. But after the rat knew where the cheese was kept, he ran to the cheese and the time of finding the cheese decreased. Now one fine day what happened the placement of cheese was changed from right end it was kept at the left end now you tell me in the comments down below according to classical conditioning what would have happened where would the rat go to find the cheese i'm waiting I want you all to write whoever is watching this video even if it is one person I want you to write down where the rat would have gone to find the cheese according to classical conditioning because every day the cheese he was finding at the right end of the maze I hope you wrote it down uh, so what happened when the cheese was kept at the left end of the maze the rat did not go to the right. The rat went to the left of the maze. Why? Because cognition, because brain, because the power to smell, because the power to attach the smell of the cheese to the understanding where the cheese would have been placed. This is cognitive learning theory. This means we cannot always be conditioned to do things. We have our brains, okay? Some people don't use it though, but we still have our brains to understand, to know what to do rather than being conditioned to do something. In cognitive learning theory, Jean Piaget said that there are schemas. Schemas are the frameworks or structures that individual uses to organize the information and to understand or make sense of the experience they are having okay that means they learn through experience and they arrange the experience in such a way that they can make a sense out of it okay. uh, he also mentioned the stages of cognitive development so the first stage is sensory motor stage in this stage it is from birth to two years a child learns about the world through their senses and motor actions through touch through feel okay so through their motor actions uh, how to walk how to crawl so they learn through their senses the next is pre-operational stage which happens from two years to seven years here the child starts to learn language here the child starts to understand what the other person is saying the child starts to have conversations okay starts to understand the language next is concrete operational stage which happens from 7 to 11 years of age child here can understand logics now you can make the child understand something through a logical reasoning they start to understand the connotations that the person may be having in a verbal or a, a non-verbal language. But they are still not comfortable or they still don't understand hypothetical situations. They don't understand abstract concepts. Okay, So from 7 to 11 years, it is a concrete operational stage. Last stage is formal operational stage which happens from 11 years and older 
so here the child or the people from 11 years or older start to understand hypothetical concept starts to understand abstract concepts they can involve themselves in deductive logical reasoning deductive logical reasoning is for example all the monkeys are mammals all the ma mammals have heart and that's why monkeys have heart okay so that is deductive reasoning that the child starts to develop after 11 years of age so there are few concepts that Jean Piaget came up with through the development of this theory first one is equilibration equilibration is when a person is posed with a challenging information a information that does not match with their existing schema schema is the framework that a person has already developed to give meaning to the experiences that they have so if a challenging uh, information is given this equilibration occurs for example i believe that all the people are good then i hear that someone has murdered someone so that means that is a challenging in information to my schema because i believe that everyone is very good my schema is my a schema is that my framework of knowledge is that everyone is good what i how i give meaning to a person is that this person is a good person but then i hear that somebody has murdered someone so that means i will have this is a disequilibration in my schema and that's why i'll have to adjust my schema to reach to an equilibration that means all people are not good some people may be bad also so i adjust my schema uh, second one is discovery learnings uh, jean piggett always emphasized on first hand experience learning for example you heard about how beautiful europe is but your first hand experience would be when you visit europe and when you actually experience how europe is so discovery learning we get said that nothing can beat discovery learning discovery learning is the best thing next is egocentrism we get said that kids specifically do not have the ability to take in other person's perspective they feel that whatever viewpoint they have about the world that is it they are not capable of having other people's perspective okay i don't know why he only specifically said kids egocentrism occurs ma major majorly in adults also some people do not take the perspective of others at all <laughs> right am i right uh, so egocentrism when you center the world around yourself around your perspective that is egocentrism so you learn through egocentrism also that means whatever you are viewing the world as that is your perspective and you're not capable enough you're not understanding that there can be other viewpoint also next is zone of proximal development what Piaget said was that there is zone of proximal development people can learn from other people example teacher and student example uh, a person working under someone to learn from them that is how learning can also happen through zone of proximal development so this was cognitive learning theory let's move on to the next theory that is social learning theory given by Albert Bandura what Albert Bandura said was that learning happens through socialization learning happens through observation imitation and learning also depends a lot on motivation attitude of a person the emotion of a person okay for example how small kids learn you show them something and they will try to imitate okay that is how albert bandura said that learning can happen albert bandura said that learning happens in a social environment through various steps first is observation i observe the person from whom i am learning i observe them okay and then after observing i also have to retain the observation in my brain because after observing if i forget i cannot reproduce the action i cannot learn right so observation 
रिटेंशन याद भी रखना है हमें ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज मोटर रिप्रोडक्शन दैट मीन्स यू आर नाउ प्रोड्यूसिंग द ऑब्जर्वेशन फ्रॉम योर बिहेवियर यू आर नाउ डूइंग वॉट यू ऑब्जर्व बिकॉज यू रिटेन्ड इट ओके एंड देन whether you are going to re repeat that action or not depends on reinforcement whether the action was reinforced or not for example you are in a class you see a person misbehaving with the teacher or okay? you observe that person somehow you retain that behavior next time you misbehave with the teacher a motor reproduction has happened that means you have you have imitated the behavior now whether you will repeat the behavior or not will depend on whether you are given a clap for this behavior or you are punished for this behavior suppose the teacher punishes you for this behavior you will not repeat this behavior and if you are doing something good and the teacher reinforces the behavior you is there is a more probability that you are going to repeat that behavior okay so that is social learning theory the next theory is kolb's experiential learning cycle so what kolb said was that there is an experiential learning cycle first you have concrete experience for example you start baking so you watch a tutorial on youtube and you start baking now this is your concrete experience that you are having right now you are experiencing the process of baking after baking you see the result and you have a reflective observation to see that your cake is burnt okay now you have reflective observation that means what i did wrong that my cake is burnt then you have abstract conceptualization abstract conceptualization is you start forming some concepts that i may have kept the cake in oven longer my oven has a higher temperature than that of a youtube tutorial that i watched so you start making abstract conceptualization then you do active experimentation then you repeat your behavior then you experiment again active experimentation then you again make the cake keeping the abstract conceptualization in mind and now again you will have a concrete experience again a concrete experience because now you are again baking the cake and having a direct experience so that is called experiential learning most of the books don't have this learning theory but mostly this learning theory is also asked in competitive exams so that's why i'm also teaching this theory okay so these were the learning theories i hope you understood all of them if there is any problem you can let me know in the comments and for further study material you can subscribe to my channel thank you